Well, that didn't take long where an update needed to be done. Before I get started, I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping and explain a small change. There is so much activity that's happening right now in eBay for the secondary market on the flowing hair that I had to change the way that I'm looking at MS70 and 69 as far as the label designations. Uh, calculated in these numbers are only uh, the first strike designation and the early release and first release from NGC. And the reason for that is advanced release is only offered to those dealers that get the coin prior to the release to the public. So you and I that gets this coin and decide to get it graded and sell it, that is not an option. So I'm not calculating those numbers in, although they do bring a premium. Uh, it's just something that we can't do. Also that, I went back and adjusted everything and made sure that the only numbers that I'm showing is something that you and I, the average collector, or someone that wants to sell this coin, uh, can actually get from the grading companies. So I hope that clears that up. And I saw, I'm sorry for any type of confusion. So adjusting this from yesterday to today, as you can see, the prices have just gone crazy. So the this is for the average coin, um, the non privy mark. So now you're looking at a nice healthy number of $75. That's up from a $2 profit from just yesterday. And we can see that the 70s are bringing more money and the 69s are, although bringing in good money, by the time you figure in grading fee, you're still losing a little bit of money, but it's starting to close the gap. So this is gonna be interesting to see how this transpires as time goes on. Jumping over to the Privy, this is another one I had to make some changes. Uh, I had, we there are a few sales out there on eBay, uh, but of the four or five that's actually sold, all but about, I think three or two, I should say, are the advanced release from the dealers. So there was a first strike coin uh, and a 70 that sold for $49.99. And then there was a raw that actually sold for $33.50. So those are the only two numbers. So we don't have good data on that. There have been sales, like I said, from the advanced release from the bullion dealers. There was a 69 that was sold and there was a, another uh, one or two 70s that sold. However, again, I'm not including that in the calculation just because it's not something that you and I can get. We can't get that advanced release uh, a label. So very healthy, obviously, on the privy mark. Over to eBay on the sales. As you can see, this is an advanced release, 70 for $59.99. That's not in there. There's the $33.50 for the regular one. And here's another one for $39.99. Uh, that's also an advanced release for the Privy Mark. Uh, in a, I believe that's an annex holder. And then if we scroll down, I believe there's another one that's going to pop up here. Uh, right here is the $49.99. That's a first strike. And then there's the 69 I was mentioning that is also an advanced release. So I have not included that just because we can't get that label. So we will continue to keep an eye on this. This thing is going absolutely crazy in the secondary market. Um, I know that they have popped up in the morning on the Mint's website uh, to buy them directly from the Mint's, uh, and they're gone in a matter of seconds. So everybody that's waiting for delivery on their metal, uh, good luck and good scores.